Hello YouTube, my name is Tunde Victor. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to export image in Photoshop for web. A lot of people have been complaining that after they finish editing their image and after they saved it, after they upload it on Instagram or Facebook, it's either the image is too sharp or the image is blurry. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I export my pictures to Instagram and Facebook and how to make them look moderate, not too sharp, not too blurry. So the first thing I'm going to do, after I've edited my image like this, I'm going to resize it. So to resize it, I'll just click on Ctrl Alternate I, or I'll come to my image and I'll click on Image Size. So I'm just going to resize it to about 9 or 8, but I prefer to use 9. As you can see, once I change the width, the height also change automatically. So what I did here, the first step is to resize your image and your fit tool should be on custom. Just the only thing you should change here is your width. Change your width to 9 or 8. That's all you do. So after that, you click on OK. And Photoshop is going to resize my image for me. So we're just going to wait for it to load. So after our image has been resized, now it's time to expose the image. What a lot of photographers do, they just come to file and they just come to save as and they just change it to um, JPEG here and look for where to save it and just click on save and they are done. And they just click on OK and they are done. But that's not the right way to export your image in Photoshop. So what you're going to do after resizing your image, you have to come to your file, you have to come to export and you have to click on export for web legacy like this or for the shortcut you have to do is click on Ctrl Shift Alternate S and it's going to show you that same page save for web save for web simply means you want to save it for instagram for facebook for linkedin any web that's what save for web is i'm just going to cancel it again and i'm going to show you again you have to come to your file come to your export and you come to save for web so once you are on save for web you have to make sure this place is not cheap it's a jpeg and um your quality is a 72 or 80 but if i use 72 the reason is that if I change this quality to 20, you can see this place here is on low already. Like this low, this place changed to low. But if I put it on 72 or 80, you can see it changed to high already. You can put it on 72 or 80, but I'm using 72. Make sure this place is optimized. The optimize is checked. And I think that's all you have to do. And next thing you have to do is just click on save. And you have to look for a location you want to save the image to. And just click on save. And once you're done, go and locate um, the folder where you save your image. And just you can you can then upload it to instagram facebook twitter any web address or any web page even on your website so that's how you save image for web in photoshop i hope you learned something for this video if you do leave a like click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you'll be the first to see a new video whenever i post on my channel i'll see you guys in my next video